So today I bring you the Arbiter Extruder V2.0. Um, this is basically an unboxing. Okay, we will talk very, very briefly about this extruder. This is not uh, a new extruder. I think this is on the market from 2021, but I decide to try it now because I'm doing the upgrade on my my test printer, uh, and for that reason, I I ordered this this extruder. I've been seeing a lot of people using it, and they are very pleased with the the performance of this extruder. Uh, and why not to to test this? This will bring the the gears are made directly with the bone tech, what is a great feature, and the motor is from LDO motor. So this have everything to work correctly, or I hope. <laughs> so the box, what this brings, you have the sticker with the serial number, and inside we can find. A manual it's a very well made manual you will find here all the the, the configurations for marlin and clipper okay and they they grant you all the information you need to to start the configuration of course, there are values here that must be calibrated depending on your printer, uh, and you have to take that in count. Okay. Yeah, it's a good manual. What else? The package is great. And here is the extruder. It came also with a adapter cable. In case you don't use this JR connectors, you can plug this. And use this other connector. And an Allen key. The first impression I have from this extruder is the weight. It's incredible. This is 135 grams, um, and it's very, very light. Uh, this is a great feature. Uh, you you can get directly by using this this extruder because the the motor is very small, um, and the body is injection molding. It is great for tolerance propose and and durability you have here also the PTFE decoupler you can easily place your PTFE here we have here also a tension screw that we already know from other extruders in the market, but this one, okay, this is great. This is very cool. The washer have treats, so in the screw, so the screw have treats, and then. They they change the diameter of the screw, and this washer 
a treat so once past the treat it will not come come out on my bmg this is every time i take the distension screw my washer goes everywhere so this is great we have the logo of ldo nice thing the Vontech gears and we have also let me grab a screw we also have here um adjustable stainless steel filament guide you can unscrew to adjust the um, the length between the um, the, the filament guide and the gear. We grab something smaller to point that out. Okay. There it is. That gap, you can adjust it by screw. This adjustable and this is great because it will help a lot of people that like to use flexibles this is a great feature this is a great feature let's remove it and take a look Also, if I'm not wrong, let me grab the the PTFE. You will be able to fit here exactly. You can fit here the PTFE. Very, very nice. So let's see what we have here. But guys, the weight is incredible. Huh? That I can tell you. Sorry for the focus. So I can see some grease. And remove the screws. There we have the um, planetary gearbox. There they are. And the way this work is that this these gears will run on the case. And if I'm not wrong, the gear ratio is seven point five to one. See if I don't close the sink. I 
probably already lose the sync between all the gears. Yeah, I lose the sync, so let me try to readjust the, the sync between all the gears. And I think I will miss again the the sink. Let's hope. Nope. This is not correct. Come on. You don't need to disassemble yours. I'm just disassembled to show you what is inside. And for some reason, okay, there you go. So don't disassemble yours just in case you need it. Otherwise, don't touch it. To adjust the, um, the filament on your on your gear, you will have a screw there. There it is. Is this small screw? Okay. If you need to adjust the the guidance of the filament, let's see if this is aligned or not. Be very careful when you are screwing the the filament guide because this will go against the the Vontek gear. Let's there it is. It seems it is aligned. I don't see any problem here. The gap between the, um, the gear and um, the bone tech is great for me. And this is flush, basically. So yeah, guys, I think this is all I have for today. Just to show you my new toy. And I will make some tests with it. I have already designed and print my mount for, for my printer. I have designed this. To be able to attach my new extruder and show you I'm using the E3D Revo. So this design is for the E3D Revo, the short version. This is not the Prusa version.
this is incredible light. This will be something like this. The river goes inside. I have the support for my inductive sensor. The fan goes in front. So this this is exactly the same extruder um, design I have on on the printer now, but on the upper side I have the um, MK3S. Uh, extruder basically so now uh, I have to do some tests and see the the performance of the of this extruder I'm hoping a lot from this LDO motor I know that or I have read that they will be very hot but this is normal between I think that 15 60 or 60 and 70 degrees so I'm expecting that and we will see the the performance of this extruder so yeah guys um, I will bring more more videos showing this extruder probably working uh, I'm making I have a to-do list for a lot of features to show you about how to make macros a uh, lot of things in clipper but my time is is killing me um so i will try to to make that those those videos and upload it so stay tuned if you if you like this video please like and subscribe guys have a nice day and i catch you in the on the next video bye bye